The case is 45-year-old Khushid Bibi presented to us with the complaints of fever, low grade for three months, weight loss for three months. TB contact is positive. Uh, sputum culture was done, which was negative. Uh, CT scan done showed mediastinal, hilar, and upper abdominal lymphadenopathy. Largest majoring 1.5 centimeter at subcarinal level and 2.5, uh, 2.4 into 1.4 centimeter at the aortocaval level. Previously, US was done, but the uh, b uh, uh, and biopsy was planned, but the procedure was abandoned because the patient could not tolerate GF. So again, uh, the procedure is being repeated. Okay. Uh, for so she is, there's a high suspicion for TB, but she has yeah. not been treated. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That is the case. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So, um, can you hear me? आपको आवाज आ रही है? Relax करें तो बिगड़े। हमें आ रही आवाज। ठीक है। So you heard that? आराम आराम से। That's it। And then usually about thirty five, right? Is your the the case? I don't know. You were I know you were distracted, but it's basically a case of TB exposure positive um, and lymphadenopathy. So the I idea is to sample for. Who knows? G. Yes, absolutely. Go ahead. Yeah, I would suggest okay, to have to step back, give yourself space, and come over this way. There you go. And to have free flowing movements with your left hand, with the right hand support. Mr. Apkari. Now what you want to do is you want to look for uh, this is IVC. This is IVC. Yes. Yeah. So the mun you don't have to pull. I, I would just say you're there. I would just honestly my approach is yeah that's good. At this point I usually will just go clockwise. So lift bring my left hand. Well I I actually don't look for the portal vein uh, liver. My I actually just go across the G junction, and when I know I'm across, I just go clockwise. So if, and then and then you have aorta, right? So now, now what you've done is though you've gone a lot over from the left all the way to the right. So if you just go a bit, and there are two movements here. Do this for me with with your wrist. So you're gonna keep your elbow where where it is, and with the or and just relax, relax, relax shoulders, and do this. On the wrist. Yeah, just on the wrist. So go ahead and show us. So stay there and just show us with your wrist what happens. You see, the wrist has a lot of angles of turning. So that's one movement. Now keep your wrist neutral, so straighten it. And now you're going to keep it relaxed, your wrist locked. And now turn your hand one way and then the other. And you'll see that both movements well, they're the same, but when you combine the two, you get an added effect, okay. right? This so I did both. Yeah. This time when I was like extreme right, I just yeah. Yeah, flex a little bit of my wrist. Yeah. So, so you yeah, and with experience, one gets used to doing one or the other or both together to get the best. Yes. If I'm standing here. So yeah. if I have to uh, like push the scope a little bit forward, I have to move forward. Like yeah, yeah, you can. Near, yeah, this. then it's it's a dynamic yeah. study, right? It's like yeah. you have to you have to adjust your body position, your hand position based on yeah. based on what needs to be done. So, uh, so let's yeah. see if we can identify the. So what? So you see as you advanced. Yeah. So what you're aiming to look for is the yeah. uh, the celiac and the SMA take off. But this is your good approach. Yeah the aorta going downwards. So now you see the crest of the diaphragm yes. and here if you should hopefully see the vessel soon and if not then you can always adjust your now you can do your wrist. So for for finer movements yeah. you can see and you can Are do you that's coming up there but because our the celiac takeoff. So I wouldn't pull back because that's your crust right? Okay. So that means that maybe you have to do slight big move towards you very slight and now with for finer movements go with your wrist and see if you can identify the takeoff and sometimes it's not a you know 100% that's going to be the same 
right. Show me. Left and right. I think it's going to be right. I think it's going to be somewhere there. But so if you go too far, you'll see the SMA and you will miss the CREC. So just go if. Based on Kamiz, there's one vessel here, but go ahead and go. There you go. I think yeah, you just see it right there. And then you, you see the SMA below it. So there's the SMA, there's the SIG. So you have a very small window in which you see it. So in this setting, you have two options. You can go pancreas towards head or you can go pancreas towards tail. So now, we can see now yeah, you're in that region. Yeah. Yes, yeah. so because you have the this pancreas in view. And this is SMA and these are the strategies. And, the, and this, yeah, yeah. So, so that's actually splenic artery yeah. at this point. It's already branched because we're, we're deeper in. So if yeah. you start going clockwise, so... You can see the pancreas. Yes, yeah. exactly. PD. PD. And now you're going to relax. Yeah, just ex exactly. Support and then... So. But you have to keep it in view, right? Yeah. So you have to maintain your position. To maintain your position, Find it again. R relax your big wheel, right? So yeah, this is you have too much here. You have neutral knee, right? So you just get relaxed. There you go. Become relaxed. Find your pancreas again. So relax your big wheel. There's your celiac takeoff, by the way. Right. One thing is, if you go, if you have celiac takeoff and you go clockwise, you will start seeing. Uh, just for completeness sake, you, you should get to left adrenal right there. You see you had left kidney and if you go, so generally from celiac takeoff 90 degrees clockwise will bring you to left adrenal. So if, because it's here, what do you need to do to bring it to the middle? I have to pull. There you go. So show us that. How would you do that? There. And as you pull, you now start seeing the, see? And now if you wanted to see more of the kidney, you would just push in so, or advance. Uh -huh. No, I think the, the, it depends on what your area of focus. Because remember, this is a dynamic study, so you, you, you in your head are thinking, okay, I want to address this or structure. Once you find that structure, you ignore the other structures and you focus on that. Then you change your focus to something else, and then you look at that. So I'm sure you do that when you re read CT scans, right? So it's the same principle. So now you have left adrenal. So you can, if you keep going clockwise, you would see this the spleen. Yeah, or you may have to do big wheel towards you, and they'll give you more upward ten, uh, sort of orientation. And if you keep going clockwise, so big wheel towards you, keep going clockwise, keep sectioning air, and now you have your spleen. Okay. Now, now a couple of things. You see, you have air, so you suction, and you can all there you go. And now you have your spleen. That's excellent, right? Now you've identified spleen, you've identified left adrenal, you have looked at celiac takeoff. So now you can start going and focusing in on the pancreas. Using the big vein and going back. Exactly. Yeah, there you the go. Kidney. There's the kidney, there's the adrenal. And I have to push a little bit. Yeah, advance, yeah. yeah. Push is like dhakka dena and advance is ke aage badhana. So we want to just advance and not, and not push. Uh, and there you go, and then relax your big wheel, yeah. right? And as you just relax a bit, you should, like before, you should be able to find pancreas. So now, yeah. so you, you see that looks like a familiar vessel. Yeah. So maybe focus in on your vessel and go yeah. clockwise and counter, and you should maybe be able to see pancreas, right? Yeah. Now, if you see, you know, this is, again, transabdominal ultrasound. I'm sure this happens when you push down, you compress vessels. Yeah. So here as your ultrasound probe is compressing the vessel, that means that you can relax your big wheel yeah. and that will give it relief and, and you can now go counter and clockwise and see if you can have your pancreatic view like before. But this is pancreas basically. Yeah. The, the duct this in this patient may be small to yeah. small and hard. So this is what I was saying that sometimes you have a vessel that, is, that can fool you into thinking that that's duct. But actually, when you put du Doppler on, that's that's a du that's a vessel. So typically, in this setting, if you just relax your big wheel a bit and go counter, you may see the duct. Let's we can we can see it, right? We can put Doppler on and see. 
और दूसरे कि यू नो व्हेन व्हेन यू डोंट हैव पैंक्रियाटिक पैथोलॉजी देन द डक मे बी वेरी स्मॉल एंड नॉर्मल छोटी सी है एग्जैक्टली सो इट्स गोइंग टू बी फ्रॉम वट आई कैन टेल इट्स 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 दिस गाय हेयर सो यू वॉन्ट नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट ब्रिंग दैट इन टू द सेंटर वट यू गोइंग टू डू Yeah, you're going to advance it, right? Gently adv- relax your big wheel yeah. and advance. Good. And now you're centering on the pancreas. You see? Yeah. Thank you. So, so now you have. Now the thing is, what in this patient, what's going on is, the pancreas and the peripancreatic fat make it somewhat difficult to distinguish the organ. In cancer patients, what happens is you have obstructive changes, mm-hmm. so the pancreas becomes more hypoechoic and it's more. easy to distinguish in a non diseased pancreas that isn't the case so and it depends on body fat but here's your duct now and you have it nicely centered right so but you can see it can be hard to make out the doppler flow can really help so now you want to keep that in your view and you want to go uh towards the tail which would be clockwise and yeah yeah Because I wouldn't worry about that too much. Your main focus is to keep that duct in view. So now it's slipped away from you. So you're going to do the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can see the duct now. Yeah. I think yeah, वो छोटे ये वाला है. So it's you see there. You can see the the the. It. So now you're going to keep it in view and see if you can go more clockwise towards the tail. Now I'm going to take the flow off. By the way the flow does uh, sorry the flow does delay your image a bit so um if you're if you're having issues with transmission then that could be that's the pancreas I, it's hard for but you probably right actually yeah yeah and it's like a smallish pancreas towards the tail so in my practice so this is this is pancreas still so you can keep going clockwise keep going clockwise and here you may want to pull back a tiny bit but you still have pancreas so keep going clockwise and then yeah we may have lost it now but at this point i would be satisfied there's no major pathology you're uh, getting kidney, kidney yes. again yeah. and that i'm done with the pancreatic body and tail yeah. so now i would This find is a nice kidney yes okay. so if i keep going clockwise you will come back to yeah, spleen see okay. beautiful yeah. so here i would be like okay i'm done with spleen adrenal body tail of pancreas now i'm going to find my pancreas again and go towards the head of the pancreas from the stomach okay. but part of the stomach pancreatic evaluation obviously comes from the the duodenum you're back in the pancreas yeah because you have your vessels yeah. right so now where is your pancreas it's hard to make out right uh-huh. because you have the fat so relax your big wheel a bit yeah it's relaxed okay and now go counter yeah. other way other way other way Then the other way. Oh, okay. It's okay. And advance a tiny bit. Relax your big wheel. There you go. Oh, See, okay. now you can make out your pancreas better, yeah. right? Okay. So now that's your pancreas. Again, hard to dif- distinguish between pancreas and fat, and so it may be hard to see the duct coming down here. Okay. But you can, you you know that that's pancreas. Yeah. So you can keep it in view, and then just keep going counterclockwise. Again, is that duct or vessel? Let's just double check. That looks like duct in the middle there, Gee. lower down. Very small, very small. Very small. Exactly. So it's a normal. So now it's heading down this way. Okay, but we're not seeing anything super impressive. So at this point, if you've gone all the way down and you've lost your pancreas, you can. ये द नहीं ये fat है. Pancreas is here. Actually, you can you can use the vessels to guide you. See, there is this splenic, uh, splenic vein going into portal vein. So you have splenic vein going into portal. So you know that the pancreas has dipped down this way too. Portal conference to B1 से देखेंगे ना. देखेंगे. अभी तो हम सिर्फ. But आपको यहाँ से भी नजर आ जाएगा. You'll you'll see it from here too. The focal. ठीक है. I think it's good because this is the up to here is it? Yeah, exactly. So now I would go to D1 because you've done all the steps that you needed to do here.
आप सर आप आई वाज डिस्ट्रैक्टेड बाय द माइक तो आप आप कितने हैं आर यू अक्रॉस द पाइलोरस हाँ तो आप ड्रॉप योर बिग व्हील एंड ड्रॉप योर हैंड इन्फ्लेट को छोड़ दें जिस जिस विदाउट इन्फ्लेशन फिगर आप वेरी आर सो डोंट एडवांस बिकॉज इफ यू डोंट नो द बेस्ट थिंग इज टू डिस्टेंड योर इंटेस्टन वर एवर यू आर एंड टेक ओके सो सो फुल बैक अब फुल बैक फुल बैक इफ इन डाउट इट्स सेफ वे टू फुल बैक दैन टू एडवांस राइट बिकॉज यू कैन परफेक्ट बाई एडवांसिंग बट नॉट बाई फुलिंग सो गो हेड एंड फुल बैक एंड ड्रॉप योर बिग व्यू सो लेफ्ट सॉरी ड्रॉप योर लेफ्ट हैंड ऑल द वे डाउन because we need to get oriented right now so we don't know where we are drop your left hand so drop your big wheel okay so i but the need lumen to have it doesn't look like gastric right ek sing me dikhaye ga i just i think you how far i think you're in esophagus actually so you pull back i have made you pull back too much so so Here, what you want to do? Yeah, you were in esophagus. Sorry about. It. So now you have your stomach. So one thing, I just want to show. I know that Khalid and um, why am I blanket? What's your name? Camera. We have a mic for you. Are we? Huh? So I know that one sh- one approach that has been shown to you is that you you basically come to esophagus. You find you go clockwise. You find your IVC and you you go clockwise from there, right? You go IVC and you go clockwise from here for aorta. I'll tell you my approach is slightly different. What I do is I I basically may not even use EUS. Oh, it's a. I will tell you that. Okay, what I will do is okay. Basically, this is all. This is closed, man. Okay. तो बट दिखा कौन सा रहे एक ही दिखा सकते ओ रेडी अच्छा तो खैर मेरी ये अप्रोच है एज अपोज टू द अदर वन कि आप एंडोस्कोपिकली नीचे आ जाएं राइट गो पैस द जी जंक्शन जी हाँ जी मुस्तक हम सुन रहे हैं आपको हम देख भी रहे हैं सुन भी रहे हैं ओके तो मैं ये कह रहा था कि माय अप्रोच इज अ बिट डिफरेंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ फाइनिंग सीरियक दैट आई एक्चुअली कम थ्रू द जी जंक्शन एंडोस्कोपिकली So if you look at my endoscopic view my hand is down I am if I keep if I come down straight like this I will get hung up at the G junction So I will drop my left hand and see the gastric folds the minute I see my gastric folds I will suction advance maybe a centimeter and go clockwise and as I keep going clockwise the aorta usually comes into view So one approach is to come down like has been shown to you uh and then find liver and then go clockwise all under us guidance the other is to actually use endoscopic guidance come down uh, you can see your esophageal mucosa you get you get to the gastric folds you suction you advance like a centimeter and you go clockwise and you have your aorta for me personally this is a easier approach uh and very reproducible every time and once you have your um once you have your aorta you can advance to look for your vascular structures which is right the celiac take off is right there which was shown earlier as well so if you are carrying here you have to cross the junction just go in the stomach and then yeah try it okay yeah so basically come to esophagus i brought you back go into g Look at your endoscope. Let's go to Jordan for a second. Just look at your endoscopic view. Go into right. So go up. Go into the stomach. Take it. Now drop your. There you go. Now, but throw us a. Bilkul, just a centimeter section. And now go clockwise. So. So keep going clockwise keep going clockwise keep going clockwise keep keep and there you have your aorta so for me this approach works really well and from here i can get my celiac take off you have it right there and then if i go counter from here i'll get if i if i if i drop my left hand you have your pancreas there so if i drop my left uh, big wheel slightly and gently advance i will have pancreas so drop your there you go and then drop your left and there you go now you have pancreas so for me this approach works really well 
So, okay, now that we're in stomach, let's look for our, um, yeah, there you go. Now you have to distend a bit to keep going, yeah, there you go, and keep advancing. Keep advancing. That's it. And your balloon is a bit up, so you, that's fine for now, it doesn't really matter, but one thing is you have to do a big wheel towards you, which is up, so that you can get to the pyloric channel, right? But, uh, you may have to put down your balloon. Suction, you can learn Suction? will help you advance. And then just keep gently advancing. You're good. You're perfect. Uh, your balloon is getting in your way, so I would just put the balloon down. Suction? Suction, can exactly. And then now advance it. Good. Now you've engaged it, right? You can feel that give. But you're still on this side. Your, your ultrasound scope is past it, but your camera is still... Now you're across. So now you just... <clears throat> Now your goal is what? Yeah, there you go. Yota. Perfect. Uh -huh. So that's your which vessel? This is the yota. No, you're in bulb. Okay. This is the portuguese confluence. Perfect. Yeah. And what's above it? <coughs> what's the structure? Hitoducta. Which concevala? CBD. Good. So abab ke ye ho gaye CBD, portal vein, and hepatic artery. You know it's. The best part of this case is that I'm questioning a radiologist about anatomy. Because <laughs> I And she's actually giving me the right answers. So that's good. So now you have bile duct. If you want to go towards liver, you go left. And if you want to go towards pancreas, you go right. Right? So that's what you want to do. Wheel to move to maintain your apposition of the wheel with the duodenal wall. So if you go ahead and there, so now you've gone counter, it looks like you've gone towards the liver, right? So yeah. it's me. Yeah, this is, this is porta. Yeah, yeah this is exactly. Into, into the liver. Yeah, and this may be, this may be gall, but actually just go count, counter, keep going counter. Keep going counter. Yeah. So uh, it's a, now relax your big wheel, so relax it. Keep forward pressure on your scope and keep going down towards your feet. So you gallbladder. Now we have actually the gallbladder, okay? But this is a good... Now if you want to evaluate the gallbladder more, what you can do is you can now move your small wheel one direction and the other direction. And that will allow you to visualize the gallbladder. You see? And if you, if you keep going down towards the feet, uh, leftwards, you will see more of the gallbladder. Yeah. Okay, good. Now what you want to do is now you've done all the evaluation you wanted here. So keep forward pressure like you were. And now you want to go back the other way. So keep going. Yeah, so keep it. You have to maintain your forward pressure. There you go. And now go clockwise. So, yeah. Yeah, but keep your forward pressure. Because the minute you lose things, that means you're losing your forward pressure. Uh -huh. Rakhe, rakhe, that's fine. Just keep going clockwise. Main is that you don't have forward pressure. You don't have to look at this. Yes, you don't have to look at this. Okay. Because that's, that's going to make you lose your orientation. So you keep going clockwise. Keep going clockwise. It's a, sometimes what happens in this situation is, in doing this, you actually fall too deep into the duty. You know? Okay. But here, you, you see, you have your, you have your conf bile duct again. Yeah. Sorry, you cursed it for her time. This, this, so now you've, you've actually got right kidney too. Yeah. So now what you want to do is now you have to pull back again. I can, again, you can come back to your endoscopic view and start all over. Okay, now, now you've got the left side done, right? You went towards the liver. Now you can do the, you can go back in and find bile duct and trace it down towards the head of the pancreas. All you have to do is big wheel up, so thumb down and advance. Sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
थोड़ा सा आपको अपना व्हील को राइट को शायद करना पड़े टू गेट बिग विल एंड देन बिग विल टूवर्ड्स यू एंड सक्शन थोड़ा यू थ्रू ओके नाउ जस्ट एडवांस अ टाइनी बिट मोर ओके रिलैक्स इन इट रिलैक्स यू बिग व्यू इन एडवांस और ये आपके देखें साथ ही आ गया पोर्टल वेन बायोलेक्स गेटिंग कंप्रेस्ड अ बिट बट यू हैव इट राइट सो दैट्स इज इट आई गॉट कंफ्यूज फॉर सेकंड दैट्स पोर्टल वेन सो नाउ जस्ट रिलैक्स यू बिग व्यू जस्ट रिलैक्स यू बिग व्यू रिलैक्स 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 इट्स कंप्लीटली ओके इट इज ओके गो क्लॉकवाइज सो देयर इज योर बायोलेक एट द टॉप इट्स गेटिंग इट्स गेटिंग कंप्रेस्ड आई थिंक एज यू पुश योर स्कोप फॉरवर्ड इट गेट See if you can drop your left hand a bit. Okay. There, there you go. Yeah, now, yeah, yeah. now advance a tiny bit. So there's your bile there. Yeah. Now, if you want to go towards the head of the pancreas, which okay. is this, okay. you have to go counter, uh, so clockwise. clockwise, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, and that is your, I think that's your pancreatic tract. That, yeah. that can be the small vessel. There you go. Good. Yeah. And now, now when you get this, that means you have to push advance to maintain your visualization. Yeah. So advance. There you go. Advance, advance, and you're following it almost all the way to the section because okay. you're you're getting air artifact. So sometimes the balloon here can help, but it can also compress the duct. So we've gone to kidney again. So go counter again. This is pancreas. Yeah, that's pancreas. So keep going counter. Keep going counter. And section. Good but you just uh, you can put it up uh, you can try it see how that works yeah okay yeah. okay okay yeah. now you have to try and maintain this yeah. this gets a bit tricky yeah. but with uh, time it, it comes to you so so basically try and keep forward pressure as you go clockwise forward pressure ka matlab hai ki scope andar ko rakhe pressure on the on the duodenal wall theek hai usko to big wheel ke sath bhi hum log kar sakte hain thoda sa big थोड़ा सा कर सकते बट यू स्टार्ट कंप्रेसिंग द डक पर आप कर सकते हैं एंड दैट बाय द वे इज योर पैंक्रेटिक ट्रैक्ट आपके थोड़ा सा व्यू में आया था राइट दिस वन हियर सो नाउ दैट सीबीडी ओके नाउ यू हैव टू मेंटेन योर सीबीडी व्यू एंड गो क्लॉकवाइज देयर यू गो इसमें कई दफा यू मे हैव टू एक्सटेंड योर बिग व्यू अ बिट और कीप गोइंग क्लॉकवाइज Keep going clockwise. Yeah, there you go. No, you see? see. Now you can see it going into the pancreas, oh, and there's the PD yeah. coming in there. Yeah, so there's PD. God. There's bile duct. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. See, see that? So you're you're reaching the papilla, yeah. and that's your that's duodenal okay. station. Well, okay. station. Okay? okay. Good. I can see both. Okay. You can see both the ducts. CBD yep, in the PD. Yeah. Now. In there, union is in the middle of your. Middle of your right, right there. Yeah. Let me just show you. Right about. Here, th that's the yeah. papilla. Okay? okay, so that's where they meet. Here is the papilla. Uh, if you sh bring them together, yes. In the, this area. Yeah. Okay. This, 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 this is hypo. Like yeah, hypo. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's the major papilla. That's Good. So now what you want to do is get to second portion. Okay. Uh, from here, the yeah. So you have to be careful here. No, no. You're still in D1. So I would. And now what you typically have to do is slightly. small wheel to the right and then big wheel towards you good and then gently pull back the scope just gently withdraw good keep and big wheel towards you as you withdraw good okay and now you can relax your left hand and go more counter clockwise there you go Mustafa yes do you think the cbd approximately uh, is dilated yeah. i think it's prominent i mean I, you know, I, it's prominent yeah okay that's yeah. an interesting word yeah. yeah it's a it's a radiological term for yeah, not committing yeah. yeah i mean i think the question becomes so what if it is if <laughs> it's not causing symptoms and the lfts are normal so so if i can say what prominent I, I, he's working looking? with a radiologist it's prominent <laughs> no, no, but the question is if you say dilated uh, then the question will will be what do you want to do about it right so my so, question would be the are the lfts normal yes exactly so okay, that's my the point the lfts that, are normal and and the bile duct was 
tra traced all the way and distal to well, literally up to the ampulla and there's no stone nothing yeah. Yeah. so then I, again so i would say asymptomatic normal lfts prominent dial uh, bile duct does not need to be you know pursued unless the patient develops symptoms or lft elevation the the whole idea is that when you convey it in your report you don't want the the referring physician to say, okay, now you told me it's dilated, what do I need to do about it? Or what are you going to do about it? So you try and address it, but you're absolutely right. You can say dilated, that's totally fine. Uh, uh, I yeah, uh, again, my approach is a bit different. What I will do is usually I will withdraw the scope slowly and go slightly counterclockwise, so other way. Other way, other way, many the other way. And I will actually endoscopically look for the major papilla. Okay. So once I see the endoscopic view, so keep coming back, you may have to go more counter, so more to the left. Okay? It's, this actually was also helpful in a dilated bile duct because you can see if there's an ampullary lesion, right? Which we didn't appreciate, at least endoscopically. Uh, but sorry, uh, by US from the bulk. So there's your papilla, right? So now you can see that there's no ampullary lesion. Here what I will do is I will gently advance my scope like a centimeter or two. A big wheel towards you. Advance a tiny bit. Suction. Slightly go clockwise. And I actually turn my body clockwise too at this point. And I will do my thumb towards you, so big wheel towards you, so that the, the bottom of the scope is hugging the didino mucosa. And then I will start looking by EUS and withdrawing. Yeah. And again, aorta and IVC are helpful for orientation. But here my focus becomes looking for the pancreas up here, to the right of the screen. And I will do gentle withdrawal, and now I'll use my my L, my shoulder just slightly to go counter, slightly to go clockwise, as I'm looking for pancreas. Here I'm also going to decrease our depth just to get a closer view of the head of the pancreas. Yeah. So I will not worry about aorta. I will look. My focus becomes pancreas. Okay. Now that what you did, you see, you went clockwise, and you're actually having to do this. But if you just turn your feet slightly this way, just turn your feet, there you go. And you automatically are in that position. Now what you have is the uncinate in view. So you have your uncinate, which is going to be distal, right? It's distal and anterior. Mm -hmm. Uncinate, as you know, yeah. I mean, you can tell me if I'm wrong. But uncinate is anterior to the ventral pancreas. And it's sandwiched between the and uncinate. Exactly. Yeah, so different. if you have uncinate, then if you go counter, which yeah. means you're going posteriorly, you will start coming towards ventral pancreas. So if you, if you, yeah, keep your section on. I'm gonna increase our, decrease our depth oh, yeah, even more, more, okay? Yeah, so yeah. you see there's uncinate. Now what you can do is you stay in this position yeah. just with your shoulders go counterclockwise. We have to maintain that. Yeah. You have to, big wheel should be towards you all the time. Yeah. Okay, big wheel has to be pushed down. Now go counterclockwise. Because now you've lost pancreas again. Yeah. So now I'm going to stop because I lost my pancreas. Yeah. Now I'm going to withdraw about a centimeter or just take a tiny bit, relax my big wheel as I'm, because now I, I was hugging the pancreas. Now I'm going to relax yeah, my, yeah. yeah, this is all uncinate, it's bright. Yeah. So can you uh, point, uh, like circle that with the arrow on the screen? Uh, so right here, here. Right, there. right there. This is all uncinate and you have duodenum below it. So, this yeah, Tika? So now you're gonna now you're gonna pull back some more and go counterclockwise again. Yes. Yeah. So go counter again. You're you're not going counter. You're pulling back, but you're not going counter. Yeah, after that, relax. Let me just show you one thing here. What I want you to do is just be relaxed. Up, you're too much clockwise like this. Uh, if you just put your feet this way. Is stay relaxed, suction, mm -hmm. and then here's unsnit, right? Yeah. So you can see the boundaries of the unsnit. I go counter, 
I start seeing vessels, so I've lost my pancreas. I go back clockwise, where I have unsnit, I pull back a tiny bit. Yeah. Right? Now, you, by pulling back, the unsnit has gone more uh, towards the middle of the scope. So, I, I'll go clockwise to ensure that I evaluate the unsnit. I get my mesenteric vessels and I'll start going counterclockwise. And as I go counterclockwise, at some point, I will lose pancreas again. So now I'll go clockwise again. I will pull back a tiny bit more. And now I will do the same maneuver again of going counterclockwise. Now I have ventral pancreas because I'm seeing darker pancreas. You see, this and, uh, is, yeah, you yes. see some uh, ventral and dorsal differentiation. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yes. So yes. So to the left, the darker is uh, high, Yeah, the darker so is ventral, ventral and the dorsal is. So now here, I would expect in ve dorsal, I would expect to see my bile duct. So if I'm not seeing my bile duct, then something's up with my approach. So I have to decide what can I do to look for my bile duct. So I'll, I'll be doing this, I'll be doing that. Now I fell back in the process. Uh -huh. Uh-huh, so are you, I think you're doing, get a loop for us all, you know, go to the drive. Thank you. Uh-huh, because I don't want my wrists, I don't want to have too many, you uh, know, it to be too, um, like too extreme. My, I want to keep my wrist neutral and let my shoulders do the work. Okay. And when I need more uh, help for extra degrees of rotation, then I'll use my... Wrist. Yeah. Mustafa? Yes. Um, we yeah. Go ahead. need to slightly move on. Sure. So, yeah, yeah, no problem. Just slightly? <laughs> no, no. Slightly. Sli slightly or slightly? Yeah, okay. Towards right or towards left? Please do up. Towards right or towards left? We will move on. Yeah, I think we have a few minutes left. Sure. Need to, yeah. I, you know, we will, um, we'll get the nodal evaluation. I thought there was an aorta cable node. I have to say I'm having a hard time finding the bile duct from here. But hopefully I'll find it soon. So much air. I don't know what's going on. Is he air but I think we was made an angle missing. I fell back again. So if I, in this situation, if I fall back and my primary goal is not to actually be looking at pancreas, uh, I will certainly look at it from the bulb. And if I can see enough of it, I'll be satisfied like, like we are here, right? And I can see the pancreas duct going all the way from the head to the body. So, just in the interest of time, I'm going to do two things here. One is I'm going to look, because there was an aortic cable node, so let me just see if we can see that from here. Because there's aorta and cava, so it's somewhere in here. I'm going to move here so I could see you. So, if you pull back from aorta a little yeah. bit with the approximation to the wall, and keep coming back a little bit more and right towards right from here. Still. Right there. Yeah, now you are at least at uh, the pancreas, that ventral area. Yeah. Right here. So if you go a little bit to, to the left torque from there, I guess. What are we looking for, node or ventral? No, we are looking for a bile duct here, right? Oh, okay. I, had, I honestly, because 
I had seen enough of the biolog from this. Okay. Yeah, bulb. I, I think let's do this. I think you can come back to Duarnal Ball. Everybody else wants to see the biolog uh, one more time from sure. there. Sure. From Duarnal Ball. Sure. Uh, There's PD, by the way. Finally. Yeah, once uh, you can f you find one duck, then uh, yeah. it becomes easier to find the other one. So PD, and then the, if I go counter, there's right there is the bi duck, yeah. right there. Yeah. So yep. PD. Excellent. PD. A little bit left torque from there will take you to the bile duct. Bile duct, exactly. Yeah. So this was the Farooq and Khalid method that worked much better than my usual approach. So I learned something new. Okay. Uh, PD and then bile duct. Yep. Bile duct is in our Bile duct will be right here. Right there. Here, right there. Yeah. That's the bile duct, right, right here. Okay. Okay. And I'll show you the bulb view as well. There's bile duct. We're following the Absolutely. bile duct from the papilla now towards the hilum. So there's bile duct, the pointer is kind of on the bile duct and right there we can follow it all the way to the liver from second portion. There. So right now there. we've followed it all the way into the hilum. <clears throat> so to show you the bulb view, basically you go into the bulb So immediately we have the portal vein at the confluence. Usually I will drop my left hand here and extend my big wheel and the structure that's closest to the probe is your bile duct. Portal yeah. vein, hepatic artery at the bottom, that's your trifecta. And now as you, as you relax your big wheel, because you can easily compress it, you see I'm compressing it. If I relax my big wheel, I can see bile duct and I can follow it by going clockwise towards the head of the pancreas, exactly. And here I'm following it. There's this hyperechoic area, which I'm not sure what it is, but the duct seems to go all the way to the papilla. And here you have PD and bile duct, pancreatic duct, bile duct. And as I go counter here, you can see PD going over the portal vein, bile duct goes off to the north. And as I keep going, keep going over, there's the confluence, PD from uh, head into neck and down towards body tail this way. Okay, so we're just going to pull back real quick and do look at the me Let me just quickly take a look just for time and then I'm going to um, have you look as well. Maybe I'll do the sampling and then during that you can look, okay? So liver, left lobe. Just looking for any gastrohepatic lymph nodes that can show up around here. And then we have the chambers of the heart coming into view. Healing. So atrium, yeah. ventricle. So right up here, aortic takeoff. So right here we would expect to see nodes. And here you go, so there's... They're right there. So, there you so there's your lymph node. So here's a needle they've been. Does that, uh, Mustafa, look like a benign lymph node? You know, the problem is based on your history. It, it, to me, it looks on the benign side. The problem is I am not experienced in tuberculosis. Yeah. And based on her history and the fact that there is a question for tuberculosis, okay. I, I would sample it. So, sure. That's the purpose of this whole study. Okay. We get a lot of benign nodes from previous exposure to... Uh, uh, some like fungal agents like coccidio um, or they can be sarcoid. So for us it's always a question whether to sample or not. Here the patient population is obviously different uh, and so if this is what's going to help determine the diagnosis then we can obviously sample. 
And then as we come back, there's aorta, aortic arch, go clockwise, thumb up, and there's your uh, left lower paratracheal node. So there's the second node there. So I would, because we would expect it to be the same disease process, I'll go with the bigger target here. That looks a bit concerning right there. It's like a conglomeration of a few nodes. You should measure it to eight seconds. So in these mediastinal ones, because the esophagus is a thin-walled structure, I tend to have my stylet at zero, and then I will, under US guidance, uh, advance my stylet. Uh, sorry, the sheath I meant. Sorry, I meant the sheath. And once I see the needle tip, then I can relax and, and then, sorry, lock mm -hmm. my sheet. Mustafa? Ji. Sorry, but you know, uh, we need to start the next case. Go ahead. I'll no, no, uh, the, uh, Khalid's. So go ahead and start. No so problem. So, we are talking about the one that we all wanted to see. That's okay. Uh, is it in so the aap, other aap room or this lo? room? No, no, you just, you just finish this off. Aap shuru karen, please. It's not a problem. Isko zyada time nahi lagna chahiye. It's there, I can see that it's there. Yeah, I can see it. Okay, let me, while we wait, um, yeah, and then, so yeah, suction, or put the balloon up. So go ahead and find your heart chambers first. Your hands, you feel the aorta. It's a left atrium, right? Mitral, left ventricle, hands. Usually, just you pull back. You can have nodes there, can you? Just a tiny bit and go thumb down. And then clockwise. Start. Both things are occupied, and Khalid has to leave by one. Oh, so let's get on with it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's get two specimens and then go to the pass. Take pass up or leave. No pass should be enough. As soon as the needle. FNB, yeah. Hansi. This will, Hansi. So thumb slightly towards you. Thumb slightly towards you. Or push in advance or clockwise. There's your window. It's very good. Uh, relax to advance the scope. That's a more stable position. Hanji, hogi needle fare. Muji de de my car. I think Khaled has to leave to me. I'll only do a pass. Yeah, so I'll quickly do a pass. Yeah, 
उसमें फारूक भाई आई थिंक फारूक भाई फिर आपने सारे स्टेशन कर लिए आई थिंक इट इज रियली वेल आई नो हां मिल आई एक मिनट नहीं चल रहा है क्या देखो मैंने आप सही कह रही हैं मैंने स्नोडेस गिरेस आई डोंट नो व्हाट दे कैन बी फाइन इट इस मैंने वो गेन थोड़ा सा कम किया था टू सी इफ आई कैन गेट इट बेटर बट इट डिन्ट फील लाइक इट हेल्प रियली इसे क्या नीडल ठीक है एक सेकेंड पहले क्या वॉट्स कहीं ऑन making the slide and we're taking samples now okay. so we we'll find out did you get anything though formula mein kyun nahi diya isme nazar course aa rahe hain but i don't know if it's for seeing this for formula mein kyun nahi diya inke lymph node ko mera nazar abhi nahi nahi isme isme dal rahe hain formula mein nahi le rahe direct formula mein nahi le rahe
you do that. Except for second portion of your side. Huh? Too many guys. Yeah, it's a simple stuff. You little cool little.